Hello everyone, Amanda here. Thanks for joining me again. I think this is part three. So today I'm going to be working on the cover. Um, I've decided that I want a little bit of an interactive cover. Um, just for a bit of something different. So how I created the main flip at the back, if you've looked on my previous videos, I will leave uh, either put them on a playlist or add them as a suggested video at the end. So how I created this, I'm not going to do one for the front because I I don't know, I might do, but I think it might be too bulky. We'll see. But I'm going to use a similar pr principle um, so that then you'll know how to do it if you want to make one yourself, uh, if I don't get round to it. So basically, I've cut out one of the images from the A Time to Cook. Um, and what I've done is I've printed that out on 120 GSM paper, presentation style, because I get that's how I get the best images. I've layered it on the back with old book pages. That then gives you, a, a, you know, it's, a, it's be as sturdy as cardstock. It's perfect. Right, so I've trimmed a small amount off the side and off the bottom because I want it to centralise in the centre of my... Uh, front of my journal with a small border all the way around so you can still see that okay I'm not going to decorate the back and oh, what's that doing there what is it that's a random woman's world advertisement <laughs> I'm not going to decorate the back so that you can then still see those book pages so what I've done is I've had a bit of a play with it off camera I've inked all around the edges and I've decided that I'm going to have it like that and this part here is going to be a top loading pocket so I'm going to sew around there and then it will adhere um, and I wanted this as my cent as my main focus what I've done is I've folded that over by about let's have a look it's three two and seven eight so it's just under three inches there I just literally I just looked where I, which part of the picture I liked and I folded it and then folded it back on itself again when you do that just make sure that this bit doesn't protrude that you folded it neatly and nicely um, otherwise it just won't all up and right that's all okay so what I just need to do is just quickly go around that with my sewing machine and then what we're going to do is we're going to have some sort of because this is going to spring open we're going to have some sort of a closure coming from underneath a bit like a belly band closure so um i'll just do this sewing and then we'll do the closure together so that's all sewn uh, sorry if the lighting keeps going from light to dark it's really sunny so i have to keep uh, adjusting the white balance on the video <laughs> so i'm just going to trim off the tails sometimes I leave them on in this particular instance I don't I didn't want them so I'm cutting them off okay look I don't know if you can hear a gentle tapping noise in the background it's my uh, lucky waving Chinese cat <laughs> meant to be bringing I need some luck right so <laughs> what are you kidding so what I'm gonna do um I'm just going to stick this on now, um, so I'm going to get some hot glue me oven, I'll just use ye old this one, okay, so all I've got on my uh, book front at the moment is just paper and gesso, so this should not have any problem, I'm just going to glue it on three sides so that I can use the top as a pocket if I want to. Plenty on, and then, oh well done a minute, no I don't want to glue that on yet, I've just realised I've missed a bit out, I'm wanting a closure aren't I, and I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to, so if that uh, dries I'll just put some more glue on in a minute, I've just remembered that I need to make my closures, so what I'm going to do is, let's have a look what colours are in that. So we've got like red and blue, haven't we, there. So I'm going to use some of this Graphic 45 because it's lovely and sturdy. And I might use that colour, let's have a look. I 
that's nice isn't it and it's cooking theme this is a, also like a home and cooking and kitchen theme and to me that looks like a table cover so I'm going to use this so I'll just bob that out of the way so I want it I'm going to use one of my tab punchers so it only wants to be about about two inches so I'm going to cut myself a few strips because I'm going to layer it up so that it's sturdy and I'm not sure how many I'm going to need right hold on so these are probably are they six or eight these the, right they're eight so the half way is four let's cut them in half it's going to be four I think my blade on this trimmer is a bit naff. I think I need to change it. Right. Then I'm going to pick one of my lovely tab punches. I think I'm going to have this one because it's quite decorative. Ooh, I don't want all these to fall off. So I've got one of these punches. And the widest measurement is two inches, so that's cutting that nicely. So if I cut all four, they should be, they should then line up. And then I'm going to glue them together so that it's stirred up. I might end up, I don't know, I don't know if it's going to work, but four and four should be more than enough. I just move so I'm going to glue these together. I'll just use this stuff because it's fast drying. Mm. I can glue them back to back like that. So that you've got two different... Oh come on, don't be naughty. So that you've got two different things showing. If I'm coming out, yeah, it is. So I'll just glue them back to back just to double up on that strength because this is going to be the closures. Okay, and I think I'll put eyelet, I might put eyelets in as well just to make it even stronger. Just checking my stock. I've got this little bit of a bottle and then I think I've got one, just one full bottle. So I think I need to be getting on told Amazon. Getting me in some more. Right. Lay that up. That waving cat's annoying me. I can hear it tap, tap, tap. <laughs> I haven't brought me no blooming luck yet. Mind you, you make your own luck in this world. Right, so... <laughs> let me just uh, stand that upside down for a minute. So I'm going to ink those. And I'm using Antique Photo. I'll need to ink... I didn't ink the did I ink the page I did ink the page before I sewed it. Okay doke. And then what I need to do is scar each one and then stick it underneath the part that I'm doing for the front cover. So this needed added on first. So let me just see if I have those going like that. And tied in the middle, for example. What does that measure? And this is how we'll just make it up as I go along. So that measures eight, and my book is my book is six. So that's worked out well. So what I want to do is measure is score each one of these roughly at one inch. 
on each end and then that will give me the fold over to can you see what I'm doing so if I scar this at one inch and that at one inch then it should just about work I'm going to do it uh, one inch and one eighth just over so that I've got a gap in between them when they're joined I don't want them right up to each other I want a small gap so I'm scarring at uh, one inch and one eighth at the ends and if you feel like that's a bit too much you can always cut it down but at least you've got plenty of anchorage there so it's not going to come undone and then because this is going to be a pocket you're not really going to see you, you know we're going to put them underneath you're not going to it's, it's going to it'll hide it you shouldn't see the bumps so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold that over you get a good press re-ink it same on the other one re-ink it I might just notch them just to take a bit of that bulk out I don't think we need all that my this bit's not essential if you don't have any eyelets you know it's just for fancy it doesn't matter I've not got so many left myself I need to get online and look for some And this is a cropper dial, if you haven't seen one, it punches holes through just about anything. It punches, I think, 8 and 16, or is it? I don't know. Yeah, 16th of an inch and an eighth of an inch, something like that. Right, so... And then you can then use it to squeeze those eyelets shut, eyelets shut as well. It's one of my favourite tools. It's not essential, but if you're a journal maker and you know you can uh, stretch to the cost of one of these because they're not, you know, they're a few quid. That one's gone funny. Then it's worth having. I wish I'd bought the big one that reaches further, but I'm not buying another now. This will make do and mend. Sometimes the eyelets don't. Just every now and again, you'll get one, and it'll just you're doing it, and it just squeezes it, and it doesn't do it right, and it goes all buckled. It just happens. I don't know if it's me that's a bit heavy handed or what. I don't know. So I'm gonna find roughly the halfway mark, I think. So eight and a quarter, if I just pull that down, I'm going for four. Let me get my pencil. So that's about the middle, roughly. Not too bothered. And then I'll use some of this. And that should glue that down nicely. So we're going for roughly the middle, but meh, meh, it doesn't no matter. Uh, don't go right up to the edge of the book, leave a small gap. You can always readjust if needs be. So if I stick that one on there, see it'll come across there, I'll be able to tie there, but they're not overlapping, which is how I want it. That closes the front, it doesn't close the whole entire book. I might do something else for that. So this is only closing the fur you know, the this little front flap, it's not a closure for the entire book. 
I might just leave it as it is. I might not do a closure for it. Right. So those are stuck now. Let me just put the, the glue on that's dried. So I'll have to re-glue it. But I'm just making sure that I've got enough room with these closures so that they will actually close. There we go. Yes. Right. So I can redo my glue on here now. What now? I know. As if I forgot. I can't be bothered with that bottle. Need to open a new one. I'm just trying to use the dregs. You can, I believe, add... I, you know, I've been told to add um, acrylic nail polish remover to thin it to get it out. But I find that it only thins it for a short while and it just clogs back up again. And it, you know, I'm not... I don't want to spoil the strength of the glue by thinning it. Right, so I'm just going to add this now. I'm trying to make sure I've got an even border on each side and top and bottom are as even as possible and that it's fairly straight. You know, it's a, a junk journal. Nothing has to be perfect. And I have sewn... Uh, round the pocket and then round each panel you will see that the sewing's wonky I've done that on purpose it's not because I'm a rubbish sewer <laughs> it's absolutely because I'm a rubbish slow, a rubbish sewer <gasps> can't sew straight for toffer even if I slow it right down I'd be no good as a fabric uh, as a seamstress right so now that's going to close with those with like um, some kind of twine or string or I don't know, I might use some seam binding, but that's, so that's the clothes you're done, okay. So let's have a look what we need now. I'm going to put a tab on there, I think. Put a tab on there so that it's telling you to pull it or to go that way. So, um, what else? Might do a little pocket here. I'm not going to do too much because I want to show the paper off. So I might just do a little pocket here for some ephemera. I might do um, a little tiny something here. Maybe I quite like that. I might just leave that. And then here and here I'm going to do a little bit of something. Okay, so let's have a think. Um, I don't know. I might have to go away and have a think about that and then come back when I've got all my bits and bobs together. Otherwise the video will be well long. I won't be a moment. A little bit of a think. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some loose ephemera in there. Then when that's closed and that's tied, it will hold it in. All right. So I've added a tab here. I just made this on my envelope. Punch board out of a scrap and literally glued it on. So the main thing that I need to focus on is something to go in this top pocket here, which I've got these, which I've printed out for, fr I think they were a freebie on, I can't remember, I can't remember, but the little um, recipes, uh, not recipes, menu cards, I can't think where I got them from, so I'm going to slide those in there and I'm going to put uh, something at the top to um, keep hold of them, um, so you can slide it in and out, I like these little, these were from Stamping Up, I don't know if you can still get them from there, I have no idea. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to ink these. Okay. Hopefully I've got enough memory on my memory card. <laughs> I've got enough battery because I've just checked. So I'm just going to ink them gently. Okay. And these are just on, on my 120 GSM copy of paper. I'm not backing them on anything. I need the extra journaling space. Okay. What's that? Let's just do the back just to make it finished off nicer. So this will be for sale. I never keep my own journals. I like to pass them on. So if you're interested, uh, just contact me on Facebook or email me. Uh, right, so they're going to go in there with a little clip at the top. And they are going to go in here. I'm not putting a... I didn't put a half, ta uh, you know, a punch. 
because when this is closed it'd look a bit I just thought it'd look rubbish so these are just going in you could have it just like that even but I'm gonna put them in there and then I'll just put that clip on the I just don't want it to go down in there. Yeah, I think it'll stay. So that's that. All right. So now what I'm going to do. Um, so I've got these from the kit. I want to use as much ephemera as possible from the kit because it's a beautiful, beautiful kit. Don't know if that'll fit right. So yeah. So I've got one of these recipe cards. I'll put that in the envelope. And that can go there. And then we've got these little journaling cards. I'll just stick those there and then when that's closed and it's all closed up then that ephemera will stay in there. In fact I don't want that dark blue one, it's too much dark blue. Too much dark blue. So we'll just have that and that. That'll fold like that. Right, so let's just concentrate on these two bare parts here. So I'm going to use some of this Graphic 45 paper up. I'm just going to cut some tucking strips, what I call tucking strips. So I think I'll have, which one shall I have? Um, quite like them stamps and I like this blue here. Right. So that's one for that side and then I might just do the same on the other side and then I've got these little stamps here to use as ephemera so I'm going to absolutely jam pack all of the little um, yeah I think I'm going to just do the same all of the little pockets and everything that I've got in here is going to be absolutely jam packed full of ephemera I'm going to um, before I do my final flip through video, absolutely ram as much as I can in so that there's loads of interest, lots of little bits to pick out and look at. Um, that's flipping trimmer, it's absolutely garbage. I need to get a different trimmer, I've, I've fallen out with this one. I think what it is, is it's just, I don't think I realise how much I use things. And if you use things every day, they're not going to last forever. You know, you're going to need to replace them time to time. That's all it is. There's nothing wrong with the with the thing. It's just me being grumpy. Right. <laughs> they are actually really good trimmers. Right, so I've just got that bit of paper that's not stuck. I'm just going to remove it. Okay, I'm zooming in that a little bit. So here we go, we've got some little stamps there and it's got a border that says I love country life. So if we have this there and there. Just wants trimming about there. Doing it by eye, I'm not too worried. If it's not precise, it doesn't matter. And then we'll do the other one. And I'm going to stick that over the top of that tab to make that look a bit more tidy. Okay, just fold it about there. About there. And then some distress ink. I'm glad I, f uh, I found this. I remembered that um, I'd had it gifted. And I thought, oh, I wonder if it would complement. Andrea's kit and it does um, but you know you can take the idea and just cut strips of the um, main digital images um, and, and cut them and make little tiny tuck, um, tuck strips I call these tuck strips rather than tuck pockets they're just tuck strips for smaller ephemera um, you can just cut the just cut strips of it you could just cut a strip of it, uh, so it looks like it, almost like washi tape. It'll still look just as good. I'm just using up. I'm just trying to use up my massive stash 
of um, <laughs> paper. Right. So I'm just going to glue it top and bottom and then on one edge. And this will just make a little, what I call a tuck strip. For things like tickets or just little bits and bobs. You don't have to uh, have huge, you know, great big tags all of the time. Sometimes just little smaller in things are just as interesting. That's that one. I may well, you know, when I've switched the video off, I may well add some extra things to the front cover. Um, some bits and bobs. I've put the glue on the wrong side there. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Um, you know, just because if I just... Sometimes I can mull over these things for a good few hours and it's a bit long for a video. So I'll show you the bare basics and then... And then I'll probably go away and add some more. I might put some collaging on here, for example. Yeah. Right, so I've got my two little tuck spots now. So things like these little tickets that are part of the Andrea's kit, all you need to do is just nip the corners out. You can either have them as a full strip or cut them individual obs. I don't think you need me to tell you that, do you? But And then, you know, you're tucking little bits and bobs like that in. Uh, these smaller tuck strips. So these are tuck strips. It's my little word for them. And then I've got these Graphic 45 components. I can add them, them in. And they're all just little bits and bobs. Uh, just little bits for whoever receives it to look at and enjoy. Um, and then we've got something like this, which is like a little journaling card in there. And I'll fill it up with various bits and bobs. Okay. And then that will close like that. Okay, I'm leaving that as it is. I might do a bit of collaging down there, some fussy cutting. Um, we'll see. And then that will close like that. And then I'm going to get some... So I had to stop my video and I've edited it slightly because I had the school run to do. Um, so I've finished my front cover now. Uh, so the next final video will be a final flip through with the rest of the things done inside. So this is what I've done. So I've got this kind of like flip um, element on the front. Uh, so it unties here. I dyed my seam binding with tea uh, dye distressing. Um, so that undoes there. We've got a little emblem here that says Home Sweet Home. We've got some fussy cutting here, which I've added and glued on. And then down here we've got uh, some more fussy cutting flowers, a bit of um, cheesecloth and some stamped um, labels. I've just got the Tim Holtz field notes, so I've been stamping. <laughs> and then I used the recipes and um, wording from one of the pages in the old book that I've been using, and just I've just popped that up on some dimensionals. So we've got this little uh, opening. So this is uh, the closure just for the front cover. It's not for the whole book. Okay, so this just uh, is for the front cover. So where we've got the tab, like I've said before, that prompts you to pull. So you pull it open and what I've done here is I decided to use one of the envelopes from the kit and I've um, stuck it in with a strip of the Graphic 45 paper and used that to hold the envelope and it's also a tuck strip. It's my new word for these mini, mini tuck spots. Tuck strips. Um, and then you can see all of the lovely um, decorative paper underneath. We've got that pocket there with those menus in. Um, fussy cutting. So there's some um, ephemera inside there. I've added a tab. Uh, turn it over. We've just got a little cluster there. Uh, we've got some carrots book page. Another one of these with some stamping. And there's a, an off cut of cheesecloth there. Okay, and then when we go that way, we've got the two tuck strip 
tips that I did um, earlier and then I've just added some mini ephemera there so that is the front cover done okay so in the next video will be the full full flip through um, thanks for watching I uh, hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's given you some ideas I know when I watch people I get ideas um, so there you go all right thanks for watching and I'll see you uh, in the next video bye for now